Today's subject is advertisement. What is an advertisement? Why advertise? And the five M's to be remembered while making an advertisement. Now, what is the definition of an advertisement? According to American Marketing Association, any paid form of non-personal promotion or presentation of any of the ideas, product, or it could be services to the public. This is advertising. Now, the word advertisement has been derived from a Latin word, advertum. This is a Latin word. It says, take notice. Or it is advert here. which means to turn towards so it says advertisement needs to be attractive and appealing now comes what is the purpose of advertising why to advertise to inform about the new product to change or reinforce consumer attitudes and perspectives to persuade consumer to buy a certain product it could be a new product to persuade consumers to switch over from one brand to another brand to create a new image or personality of a product to create a unique position for it to sustain an image Advertisement is based on five M's. Number one is mission. What are the goals? Why I want to advertise? Next is money. How much I have to invest? Then is message. That is totally based on the audiences. What is to be encoded in the message? Its execution and evaluation. Then the media. Which media is suitable, the channels, their frequency, the time. And at the end, it is measurement. Measurement is the reactions of the audiences, the impact. That is the feedback. Now, types of advertising. It is totally based on content, the design of the advertisement, and the channels, the mode of promotion, how we are communicating. Number one, print advertisements. Print advertisements are those advertisements which are in the form of print. It could be in the newspaper, it could be a pamphlet, it could be a brochure and so on. When we talk about print advertisements in the newspapers, it is of two types. Number one is classified advertisement and the other one is display advertisement. Let's talk about classified advertisements this is the basic form of newspaper advertising and is not at all expensive these advertisements are priced as per the number of words used in it you can make your ad more prominent with the help of different font size of the words or you can color the background or giving a border to it these advertisements are published on specific page assigned in every newspaper these advertisements are not attractive in outlook but still have high readership because these are based on individual requirements for example situations vacant matrimonials plot for sale classified display this ad format has more scope for implementing creativity though classified they are published in the classified pages only but they stand much more prominent than text advertisements they have images logos and even contrasting headers and footers are added to it for example obituaries surrogate advertising surrogate means substitute so is surrogate advertising when the product is banned 
it cannot be shown in media to the masses. So we use surrogate advertising. Can you remember about IPL, Royal Challengers? From Royal Challengers, you recall Royal Challenge. It is a banned product. Public service advertising. Public service advertising is a technique that makes use of advertising as an effective communication medium to convey socially relevant messages about important matters. For example, HIV AIDS, energy conservation, water conservation, it could be related to health also. Celebrity advertising. Although the audience is getting smarter and smarter and the modern day consumer getting immune to the exaggerated claims made in a majority of advertisement, there exists a section of advertisers that still bank upon celebrities and their popularity for advertising their products. Transit advertising. Transit advertising is advertising placed inside or on modes of public transport or in public transportation areas such as bus stand or railway station. These advertisements are pasted or they are printed on the either sides of the buses and trains. It could be seen at the back also. The purpose of transit advertising is to reach masses. Outdoor advertising. Advertising on billboards or signboards outside of a building and often by roadside. The billboard advertising is very popular, however, has to be really catchy and attractive to grab the attention of the passerbys. Outdoor media are excessively used by manufacturers, dealers, hotels, restaurants, academic institutes, etc. And you can see the hoardings, billboards, signboards, banners, neon signs, electronic boards, electronic displays or electronic boards. Many advertisers use advertisement boards illuminated with colored lights these days, particularly in big cities and towns. Such an electrically operated mechanism also changes colors in short intervals to attract the attention of the passerbys. Sky advertising. It includes notices, pamphlets, etc. that are dropped from aeroplanes or helicopters. Huge inflated balloons bearing the brand name or brand mark of a company's product floated from tall buildings will also form part of sky advertising. Teaser advertising. While introducing a new product, some advertisers they use teaser advertising to build up curiosity amongst target audience. The recent advertisement of Idea, where the jingle is being advertised without showing the full ad, creates a curiosity amongst the viewers and hence seeks their attention. These advertisements can also take the form of split run advertisements. They can come in series also. For example, advertisement of Denik Bhaskar while launching in Punjab. Trade advertising. Advertising directed towards channels of distribution is called trade advertising. The objective of this kind of advertising is to increase sales by motivating the channel members to retain reputed channel members and to acquire more shelf space in the retail outlets. Industrial advertising. This type of advertisement is given by the manufacturers of industrial goods and is targeted towards industrial buyers only. The advertising related to products like machines, biomedical equipments, spare parts, etc. They all fall in this category. Service advertising. The advertisements which aim at promoting services is called service advertising. The example is insurance advertisements, airline advertisements, mobile companies promoting mobiles through advertisements. Hospitality industry also comes under this. Product advertising. The advertising of tangible products come under this category. 
For example, electronics, chocolates, cold drinks, soaps, shampoos, all come under product advertising. Brand advertising. Commonly seen as type of advertising where brands make an effort to establish long-term identity or image in the minds of the customers. Political advertising. It is totally to promote the politicians or a political party. Institutional advertising. It is also known as corporate advertising wherein the message is focused on establishing a general look or identity of a company. It shows the contribution of the organization and mainly aim at the history of the organization. It is in fact an indirect and subtle type of advertising. Advertising through sandwich mail. Now this person, we hire people, they wear a certain uniform and they carry the posters or they are into the total attire is of that color and they carry the board of that product or the brand and we find them normally in the cinema halls they could be in the malls they could be in the amusement parks also and that's all for today thank you very much have a nice day